Hi friends, in this video, I'm going to make a robot arm using Arduino and servo motors. So without further ado, let's start this video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, then do subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon so you can get notifications whenever I upload a new video. These are my other channels, do subscribe them as well. And you can also follow me on Facebook and Instagram. Component list, circuit diagram, everything is in the description below. These are all the components we gonna need for this project. First I'm gonna connect Arduino. After that I'm gonna connect a 2 pin terminal block and connect its 1 pin to 5 full pin of Arduino and its other pin to ground. After that, connect a 10K potentiometer and connect its one side pin to positive supply, its other side pin to ground and its center pin to A0 pin of Arduino. After that, connect a 10K potentiometer and connect its one side pin to positive supply, its other side pin to ground and its center pin to A1 pin of Arduino. After that, connect a 10K potentiometer and connect its one side pin to positive supply its other side pin to ground and its center pin to A2 pin of Arduino. After that, connect a 10K potentiometer and connect its one side pin to positive supply, its other side pin to ground and its center pin to A3 pin of Arduino. After that, I'm gonna connect a servo motor and connect its positive pin to positive supply, its ground pin to ground and its signal pin to D11 pin of Arduino. After that, I'm gonna connect a servo motor and connect its positive pin to positive supply, its ground pin to ground and its signal pin to D10 pin of Arduino. After that, I'm gonna connect a servo motor and connect its positive pin to positive supply, its ground pin to ground and its signal pin to D9 pin of Arduino. After that, I'm gonna connect a servo motor and connect its positive pin to positive supply, its ground pin to ground and its signal pin to D6 pin of Arduino. So we have completed all the connections. Now let's upload the code to Arduino and test the project.
So that's it for today's video. I hope you have enjoyed this video. For more videos like that, stay tuned and I will see you in the next video.